Hey DG skaters, with the skating season coming up, it's important to have sharp skates. So we have Canada's equipment and skate tech, Reese Dara, to show us the basics of sharpening and get you guys ready for the season. Hey guys, here we are uh, doing some basic sharpening. Uh, so if you want to start with the most basic points, I know there's a lot of different jigs out there, there's a lot of different stones, but some of the most key things are consistency. Making sure you always set up your skates and your jig the same way. If your jig has leveling points, you can make sure your blades are nice and level at the top of your jig. So making sure you put them in the same time, same way every time is going to help you get the best sharpen out of your blades every time and keep your rockers nice and smooth. So once they're in there nice, you always start out with your basic sharpening stone. Nothing special, we're just looking to get an edge everywhere on your blade. Uh, if you have a stripped edge, maybe use the rough side to get that out. But if you're just looking for a quick sharpen, no need to get down and gritty. Just nice basic technique. So you can just use nice straightforward sharpening. And we're just looking to get a bit of an even burr throughout the whole blade. Once, once you've gotten a burr, then you can switch to maybe a smoother stone. We're just looking to get nice even sharp in here. Um, you can also progress your way up. Uh, here I started with a, just a basic Foss sharpening stone. I believe it's about 320 grit. It's important uh, to keep them nice and clean when you're done uh, using them. You can have them clean at the skate shop here in Calgary or you can learn how to do it yourself. Uh, after that I would probably switch to a diamond stone with a little bit of water on it for lubrication. And this is just a little bit finer grit so it's going to keep those skates nice and polished. And again you're just looking to cover the length of the blade. We're not looking to roll the stone over, we're not looking to throw it off the edge. What you want to do is with nice, even, almost no weight on the stone, bring it right over the edges and keep it nice and flat. Here's some of the top three reasons why skaters often need to get their rockers touched up in the skate shop. When sharpening, it's important to cover the length of the blade without rolling over the edge. It's equally important to cover the whole blade instead and not come up short. Last reason, uneven pressure on the stone. Sometimes without knowing it, you might be pushing down with one hand on the stone and you're going to affect the rocker on that one side of the blade. So it's important to cover the length of the blade and not roll over the edge. It's important to sharpen from both sides of your jig. You'll often see skaters sharpening from one side and then spinning the jig around. And this is nice for maintaining equal pressure. Sometimes when the jig is close to your body, you're using more force as opposed to when it's away from your body. So rotating your jig is just going to keep that even pressure and maintain your rocker nice and smooth. The rocker is the measured radius of the blade, so having a nice smooth round across the whole blade. Uh, a short track are typically a lot rounder and often a variable rocker where a long track is consistently smooth. Much like your sharpening stone, there's always a variety of deburring stones that you can use to clean up the edge of your skates. Uh, I use a lot on different blades, but some of the basics are just a diamond sharpening stone, a polishing stone, red and Indian tool, uh, that is a carbide bit, and this is a big soft water stone. Alright guys, so as you can see, and as you may know, a lot of people have different techniques on deburring. Some people like to use a towel to protect their finger, some people will just use their finger. Um, some things to make sure you're doing is being focused on it, especially this is something you can easily screw up your blades with, making sure you're keeping the stone flat and not rolling it over the edge. What is the sound you make when it's cold outside? High five. No? Oh, okay. Oh. Actually, burr is the edge formed over the side of your blade after sharpening. You can check for it while running your finger along the side and nicking up with your fingertip. Alright guys, so that's it. Those are the basics of sharpening. I'd like to thank Breeze for coming out and showing us how to do it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Other than that, join us next week. See ya.